Aloha, this is Martina Wing live from Hawaii. It's Wednesday. It's a little later today, 11.15. But uh, I want to talk about uh, what's happening here. Happy 2018. And uh, I have my manor in my hand, of course. I have another one too, but that's what I usually do on Wednesdays. I talk about the manor here in Kona, Hawaii. And this is my true love. And today I wanted to talk about something that has to do with the manor dive here in Kona. And, but also a long story that uh, goes a journey that I encountered over the years and uh, want to share that with you. So um, I know Tara is here. Thank you so much for being here, Tara. Super. And uh, I wanted to start out with, um, first of all, where I am, because people usually don't know that. So I'm in, the Kona, in Kona, Hawaii, on the big island. This is Hawaii. Um, and we usually have, um, we have manor here on the coastline. And... Um, there's a dive, dive site here at the airport and there's a dive site here in Keaho. And today I want to talk about something that happened. It's almost on the day on the 11th, uh, five years ago. It's uh, where a dolphin got, um, in, came into the dive site doing the manta ray dive. And uh, what, what happened after that, and it all accumulated in really a dream coming true for me. Um, and I want to share that with you today. And um, I usually start out um, why the story is so special. And uh, for that, I have some prepared on the other side, meaning that I'm going to flip the video camera here in a second. And then you see uh, what I'm talking about. And then I think you're going to dive right into with me into this storyline and uh, you will enjoy the journey that I've been on for five years. Um, I was just in the right place at the right time when the dolphin came to the Manor dive site and uh, was rescued by uh, Keller LaRosse. So um, I'm going to switch the camera real quick. Uh, the first picture you will see is me in gear. So you see how it looks like while I'm actually behind the camera underwater so let's see Sophia is here again Denmark hello thank you thank you for being here all right so anyway this is me that's how I look like when I go scuba diving and my camera is uh, down the table over here but in the background you see that uh, where the dive site is and then you see, this is actually uh, um, at the site by the airport and in the background all these lights this is lights underwater and what you see up here is boats and uh, some snorkelers and I'm about to jump into the water I'm on scuba and that's what I've done now for the last 20 years, uh, just diving with the man rays every night. And uh, it's my, my true love. And I happened to be there on um, January 11th, 2013. And the next two minutes is video footage. And it's uh, really, I tell the story really in a short, short um, way, in a really good way. And just go with me on this journey, what happened underwater. So... And I have some music in the background. I hope that works out for you guys. But this is not the do bottlenose dolphins I'm talking about. He asked divers for help. We were at the dive site. We were doing our thing with the manta rays. But this particular dolphin had a hook in his fin, stuck in his fin. Now check this out. You've maybe seen this video before. And he swam up to Keller incredible skills, incredible situation, situational awareness of what needed to be done for this animal. So much compassion and love for this creature. It's incredible. So he was entangled on fishing line and um, he couldn't put, move his left pectoral fin, notch, and that's the name of the dolphin. And uh, he just circled the color for quite a bit. And uh, who was holding still. And then Keller was the real, the best dive master to be asking for help because Keller had the right tools. He had this uh, to clip this off. And uh, there's definitely a happy ending happening here right now in a second. He was holding still notch, incredible. Now that you see this is a one minute, 90 second clip, but the actual in rescue took seven minutes. Yeah. The dolphin went up to the surface and came back, and then he talked to, uh, talked to, uh, lay down in front for Jason and Massa. Keller was in the background again. But then the dolphin felt he was fine, and he just took off. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to talk about here right now. I'm going to switch over again. Um, where um, I, I shot this video, and it was incredible. I mean, this whole community here is in Kona, Hawaii, about... Um, hey, Daniel is here too. Welcome, welcome. Europe is here. I love that a lot. So, um, yeah, I shot this video. Um, 
the community here is all about helping the animals and we, we worked so well underwater. We usually don't have any interaction, Keller and I, but underwater we, we just really clicked and um, he was rescuing the animal. Um, I was there with my really bright video lights to give him the light because at night the dolphin was just going around him so he could see everything. But anyway, this is, this is the rescue itself. I put it on, on YouTube, you know, and uh, let's go back forward five years or actually only three years, but it went viral within 10 days. And this video is now today viewed over 30 million times. And I actually got a, video, um, a phone call yesterday from Montreal, Quebec, and some random person found my phone number and he called me and he wanted to say congratulate to Keller and uh, to the, the community, what we're doing here. So five years later, I get a random call and someone is congratulating me. So this story is just really touching so many people. And uh, what happened for me um, in this journey is I had this deep desire to do something else with this story because I know it's touching so many uh, people around the world. And uh, then two years ago, I was in Germany uh, visiting my parents and I was just strolling along souvenir shopping and stuff like that. And it really hit me. That's when my dream, my, my dream came that I'm talking about today. The dream, uh, this aha moment, if you watch Oprah, you know, then it's a aha moment where I knew this, um, this is what I'm going to do with a story in addition to just having a video. And it's creating a children's book. But what I saw in Germany is actually this little book here about my ch childhood. It's called Tuffy and a uh, little elephant falling. I had a little accident and stuff like this. I grew up with this little book. I found the book in Germany again. I just um, enjoyed it so much. And so I bought the book. But at the end of the book, it says what really happened to this little elephant because it's also a true story of a rescue. And for me, it was crystal clear. I have to write a children's book. And uh, my dream came true pretty much uh, last week, Thursday, that I had it in my hand. Then this book is now here and it's available. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for coming today. The book is here. So I really, really got my dream come true. It was a two year journey for book creation. Um, just a few details. It was, yeah, Happy New Year, Carrie, to you too. Um, you know, when you just walk around a shopping center and then you have the idea you want to create a book, then it all goes, how do you do this? You know, I needed to find an illustrator. I needed to get the money together. So we did a Kickstarter campaign last year. Um, in, in the summer, it was 120% funded. But for me personally, I have never really done marketing. Um, there's so much to, to this, to do a Kickstarter, Kickstarter campaign, knowing what to do on social media. Uh, this was one my breakthrough for the Facebook Lives that I do today too. I had to go live to talk about what that give me money kind of. And uh, anyway, we were funded then last summer. And at that point I had the illustrator, Jackie Mask, um, and then I was overfunded a little bit. So I actually reached out um, to a professional children's book writer. His name is uh, Scott Fuqua. They're both in Baltimore. And uh, yeah, so I had a professional, two professionals to help me get this together. And this is the, the final book. And I think um, you all will enjoy when I talk about the character really quick. The characters in the book are all animals that here live along the coastline. Um, first of all, the first, oh, I want to show you the first page. It's actually the manta ray dive itself. I think that's really, really came out. Everything came out great, but I really particularly like when you open like children's book and there are manta rays all over the place. So I really like that. And then the characters in the book are, um, well, of course, Notch itself, right? And uh, I want to tell you real quick why Notch is called Notch. Well, he has a notch in his back, right? So um, that's how locals call them. I didn't come up with that name. I'm not that creative. And uh, Notch is Notch, so because of this um, skull. And then the other characters we have in the mix is, well, our beautiful Big Bertha. And you can see it by the markings if you look it up. Um, this is um, Big Bertha. And she's going to be really important to Notch to understand how to get to the manor dive site to be um, saved. And on, all, all along, it, um, Notch is going to run also into some hammerheads. We had just hammerhead sightings here last week on the coastline. He's going to run into, um, well, the fishing line itself. Yeah, so he's getting tumbled up right here. And then there will be humpback whales. Her name is Juanita. And uh, we had an incredible encounter with Juanita many years ago. Um, so we just wanted to put real characters in the book. Check this out. Isn't that incredible? Jackie is such a talent, incredible talent. And when you read the book, it's just really hilarious. There's this professional writer 
thanks as, as Scott for doing this. Um, I mean, I could have written, uh, no, I could, I could not have had done anything like this, but I created it to put it all together. Thank you, Sylvia. And then um, if you're familiar a little bit about the coastline, we do have tiger shark sightings here on a regular basis and it's at the harbor. And there's one particular tiger shark, by the way, that nothing happens with tiger sharks. They just like to hang out at the harbor. And there's Laverne and Laverne's of course in the story too. So this is Laverne and she uh, tells a really, she's really important to notch to get to Big Bertha and getting this all together. Uh, how to find a solution to come to the Man Ray dive site and get um, saved. Yeah, so, and then one more character we have in the story is, um, well, here's Big Bertha again. And now he's at the Manta Ray dive site. It's kind of cool. Let me just see where that picture is. Here is Waimanu. Waimanu is a Hawaiian monk seal, and she's really also regular at the dive site. And so Waimanu is, um, yeah, in the, in the storyline as well. So, yeah. And, and I do want to show everybody that backed us uh, for this um, book. Um, we have a dedicated page for you guys um, here on the back. It's our thank you page. All your names are in here that backed us. We had 150 people helping us out to get this done. Hi, Jean. How are you doing? Um, so thank you for that, for all the backers again. And um, oh yeah, here's also my glossary with all the characters and uh, also an invitation to come back to a um, the website to dolphinrescuehawaii.com to watch the video that I just showed you. So it's all coming together. No, it's actually, it, it's together. And maybe if you see in the background a little bit, there's a bunch of books here on this side, lots of priority mailboxes. Um, maybe on, the, on this side you see a t-shirt, I have the t-shirt on, and I have the Blu-ray ready. So there's all kinds of things. This is just, this whole studio is now full of uh, fulfillment um, of the backer um, pre-orders. And I'm so proud um, that uh, we pulled this off as a team here. And I want to mention Jackie again as the illustrator and Scott as the writer. I had Haley as my social media manager. Um, thank you, Haley. She's still with me. Tara is with me now too. And uh, Jean is asking a really good question. Where can I get the book? I'm going to give you this domain name right now. I prepared for that. And it's called notchdolphinbook.com. Notchdolphinbook.com. And of course, I will put it also into the description but I thought that would be a really good domain name to remember, notchdolphinbook.com. Yeah, um, and if you want to purchase it, I like that idea a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping that this book takes off. Um, I have a few other things happening this year for 2018, or plan for 2018 to make this book go big. Because, I mean, it's a proven story. Um, I think you all um, got the, if you watched live or in a replay, uh, it's a story that has touched the world and continues to touch the world. Again, just yesterday I got a phone call from Montreal, Quebec, and some random person called me and said he was really touched by the story. So let's make this book big. If you guys um, enjoy this, then uh, share it, um, buy the book, do something. I mean, when you get the book, take a picture of yourself, carry it, something for you or not want you to do, you get instructions when you get the book. Your package actually went out yesterday. Should it be there with you with three or four days priority mail? And uh, take a picture of you with the book or when you read it to the children. Yeah, what about delivery rates in Europe? Yeah, um, Stefan, if you're going to, um, um, you know, just send, I'm going to look into this. Danielle is here watching too. Thank you so much for being Australia is here, Germany is here. Um, international shipping, I'm going to just charge you guys what I really need to be charging. I mean, I, I never make any money on, on shipping. Um, but I don't know how much Germany is right now. I'm just trying to get through the, the big, I got a thousand books and I wanna just uh, ship out as much as I can. I've had 170 um, pre-orders and then um, I'm gonna go into detail how the international shipping will work out. I hope that's okay, Stefan. Um, thanks for being here. Anyway, so this was my 2018 start into this new year. Uh, guys, thanks for being with me. Next week I have a surprise for you, but I can't tell you yet um, what's gonna, where, where I'm going to be, what's going to happen. Um, but um, thank you for being here. If you uh, want to buy the book, again, notchdolphinbook.com. And I talk to you later. Love you. Bye.